Hi, I'm Ivan Čokić and this is a screencast of the latest version of the Lancelot launcher for KDE. This is my first screencast in which I'm speaking instead of just putting the subtitles below the screen and I hope you'll forgive the grammatical errors I make since English is not my first language. First, we'll start with a simple introduction. Lancelot is divided into four categories. The documents, which contains the office applications, you can configure what you want to be shown here. For example, I want to show GIMP, Inkscape and OpenOffice applications. On the right, you have the open documents and the recent documents. The contact section shows the unread mail in Kmail. It currently has no integration with the other mail clients. And on the right side you have the online contacts from Copeta. Again, the support for other clients, uh, for instant messaging and mail, are coming later. The computer section holds the links to the places, system applications and movable and fixed drives. And the main section is the applications. It's separated into two columns, the favorites, which hold uh, naturally your favorite applications, again you can configure that, and on the right side you have the categories, you can browse them, so we are, for, for example, we want to go to development and to start something, something, something that is quick, for example, Kcash grind, and it starts and it asks me did I know something, no I didn't, but I don't care. Okay, so you saw the general idea and the general appearance of Lancelot. I'll now cover some special features that really separate it from the competition. The first is the so-called no-click interface. While you can click the items in order to activate them, you don't really need to. For example, you can just cover the item and I want to start quick synergy. I can click here where the cursor is or I can just move my mouse to the target icon on the left and without any click the quick synergy is started. The second thing is the Lancelot Parts applet. You are used to dragging your applications icons into onto the desktop and that is something that you can do with almost any application launcher. The difference here is that you can drag much more than just single icons. Unfortunately, the Record My Desktop software doesn't allow me to drag and drop things onto the desktop, so I've already dragged a few things just to show how it looks like. What it looks like, sorry. Okay, I can't even switch the, the activity. Okay, and yeah, yeah. Bummer. Uh, zoom out and we are going to the first activity. Zoom in. This is the parts applet. For example, I've dragged favorite applications onto the desktop and the places and removable drives. You can drag almost anything from Lancelot, but as I said, unfortunately I can can't demonstrate it because the record my desktop software doesn't allow me. The third is the powerful search uh, based on KRunner. Many users just use the KRunner to start application. The KRunner is Alt F2 dialog. For example, if I write can't, uh, it shows me contact the personal information manager. It can do a lot more than just start applications. For example, you can use it as a calculator, then 2 inches to convert to meters and a lot of cool things like that. Uh, what is... Why, why did I show you KRunner? Because Lancelot can do the same thing. You can use it as a calculator, you can use it as converter from inches to meters or whatever. You can search for places and recently opened documents. 
and anything K runner can do, Lancelot can do also. Okay, that was the general introduction to Lancelot. Uh, the point of this screencast is wasn't to show the new features, but rather to introduce the new users to Lancelot. So, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and if you have any comments, don't hesitate to write me. Bye.